This lecture is entitled Tips for Moms. Tips for Moms. As a mom with three children who are now all young adults, we raised our kids during the inception of the world of technology. We made lots of mistakes, but didn't know they were mistakes until after the fact. I'm writing to you as a mom and what I learned while raising my kids. And yes, that's a picture of me and my daughter probably driving to go get a latte. Top five tips. Number one, babies grow up. Two, as technology changes, so do your rules. Three, never be too busy to be interrupted. Four, have fun. And five, don't give up. And when I got all this done, I had to give you a bonus point. And yep, that's my family you're looking at there. We are able to take a trip to the Middle East and we are in Israel. Number one, babies grow up. As children change, so must your technology. I loved every stage of raising my kids, and each had its joys and challenges. But one thing was for sure, they all got older. Sometimes in the midst of the moment, I wasn't as quick to pick up on those changes as I probably should have been. It's important to keep track of what your child can do technologically and help them advance in their skills and abilities as they progress. Two, as technology changes, so do your rules. Technology requires rules. Children don't come into the world knowing how to keep themselves safe in the cyber world. While that may seem obvious to us because we want to trust them, our children, and believe the best of them, we can give them too much credit. Change the rules every time you upgrade in hardware or software. Change the rules at every birthday you celebrate. As they grow older, the rules get older and no longer work. And here's an example. You may no longer have your phone in your room as you turn 16 years old. As you are staying up too late at night, either Skyping or FaceTiming or texting or doing selfies or putting things on Instagram. Your middle school student who's only 12 years old may not be having that problem, but your 16 year old might. So what was okay at 12 might not work when they're 16. Never be too busy to be interrupted. Monitor, monitor, monitor. If I could say one thing with kids in technology, it would be monitor, monitor, monitor. And I'm not talking about the computer monitor. I'm talking about keeping your eyes on your kids. As your children spend time on their screens, purposefully interrupt what you are doing to check on what they are doing on their screens. There is nothing better than an impromptu look into the world that your child is engaging in online. They won't like it, but that's just too bad. You are the parent, and just like you wouldn't probably send them off to a foreign country all by themselves without any preparation, don't send them off into the cyber world without your presence and influence. Have fun! This is my, myself and my daughter. She played Alice in Wonderland in a school play, and so we're having a bit of fun taking a picture. Together is better than alone. When possible, join your kids in what they're doing online. Take selfies and send them. Be their Facebook friend. As long as they are in my house, I am their friend and definitely a Facebook friend. Make YouTube videos and post them. Skype them when they are away or FaceTime. Email them cards, funny websites. Text them to say, hi, I'm just thinking of praying for you today. I love you. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. Take goofy pictures, but don't always make technology a battleground. Enjoy it with them. And don't give up. Technology can be exhausting. It's hard to stay on top of all the new apps, software, and devices, but don't give up. Keep communicating with your child about what they're interested in and what they are doing. Let them teach you. Don't be afraid to fail. If you think you have to enjoy or master every bit of technology out there, you are setting yourself up to fail. You'll give up or get resentful. Take a deep breath and dive in. Your child is worth it. If you don't know how to do something, learn. There are different ways to learn, so find out which way you learn best, either at home alone with an online video or in a group at the local community center, or maybe just with a friend or your child, having them tutor you in learning how to use your new computer or the new software. 
Bonus point. I can't say this too many times. Oh, did I already say it? Yes, I'm saying it again. Monitor, monitor, monitor. We are responsible to guard and guide our children in a world that is not friendly nor safe regarding their purity and character. We are the guardians of the portals to their mind. What we allow them to be exposed to and where we allow them to travel in the cyber world is one of the key responsibility that today's parent has. Thank you for joining me for this lecture on Tips for Moms. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that as you interact with your children in the world of technology, that you will enjoy being with your children in the cyber world as much as I did and as much as I do. Thanks for joining me on this Tips for Mom lecture.